Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. It was my father! You don't mean... You're that girl from before! I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance! Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! <laughs> You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary Terror of Edo! The slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Masumi! Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing, so don't let it go to your head! You ungrateful little brat! Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. <laughs> Make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? <sighs> Tora-chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> Who cares about all this? Let me give you a hand. I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. 
<laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. So, Masumi, did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. Hey, why don't we treat ourselves today? I know, how about Peking Duck? The king of Chinese food. King of Chinese food? It must be expensive. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Dad? Dad? Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamurocho. Life's a bitch, then you die. Stop, Ushio, you piece of shit! What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! Take a fucking hint! Stop, damn it! Leave me alone!
Looks like I shook him off. Ushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real. It's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching to the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on. Cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit! Guess I'll just have to kick your ass. Choices, choices. Oh, I to fight. <laughs> Ichiban Aniki, you okay? Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <laughs> Nothing. I get it. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, hey, look at this real quick. Huh? How bad is it? Fuck, got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean, my hair! I just got it done! And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know... Don't touch it. him! Pay good money for this shit! Damn, I choked. And then he took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. You calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. 
You always let them get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with them. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let them do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're trained to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. That ain't it. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Ugh, again with the Dragon Quest? What's so great about it? Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. <sighs> you do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you. You realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. Look, I like this life with Arakawa-san, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. Truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? Huh. <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. Do it, man. But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Sure. Hey, Ichi! Old man Takeo, how the heck are you? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Duty calls. Don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else. Oh, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. Still gorgeous. Telling yourself that. Your liver probably ain't so gorgeous. But keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. You're back! 
Why'd you do me like that? Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. Ichi! Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. A, a plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby! Oh. You had accidents until fifth grade! One time! And my stomach was killing me that day! Huh? <laughs> Go.
ありがとうございます。<笑>
See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering and let... See me to get in, huh? Battle is on! Yeah! Code of it! Yeah! Cool. Still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Aniki! What's up with you? Why didn't you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamaracho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <laughs> oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 
I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? She still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. Hey, miss! Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Huh? Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just... I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. Sorry. For a sec. Uh, um, okay. What is that? 
The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Master? Young Master? Young Master! Let's go. Young master? Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. No. <sighs> Yo.
Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san. What did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masajo-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Oh. Just do it. 
Sorry, I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? No, it's just... <laughs> My mother has the exact same one! <laughs> huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichibad. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How... how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, uh, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure, but I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I okay, I'm one too many. Some wingman I am. Horinouchi-san, wait! Uh, please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now, he gave me something super expensive, and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later.
Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. This is like a strange risk, isn't it? It's definitely slightly off different than the other is. More of a slower vibe. Peddler. Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. <sighs> All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? There, there is no real story. The young master gave that to me, I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family? What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Could 
to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that. But it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass, like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah. And you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. 
I couldn't believe it myself, but he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me, for bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Nay, I got away, but they're not far behind. I... I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. Break the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What is our baby in a locker? What are you saying? Don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe House. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker! No. Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey! There she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! <laughs> Shit! This is my child. Hey, 
Are you okay? Damn it! Move! Move! I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait. Did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh! Gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm hmm? The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, Wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. Right, so I've got to go. Seriously. Hey. 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 Hey
Yes. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to bring it in with their families. Try it though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Thank you, Thank you sir. <laughs> Doug got lucky today. He won't get away from us next time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, Ichiba. what, what have I told you? Oh, oh. Sorry. sorry. Be, Be careful when you laugh outdoors. The only, the only time, time I have a special laugh with this team is when he's with family, 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 family or when he's in deep shit. Oh, no. Right. right. Reputation, Reputation is everything, everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at soap lands, she even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working-class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. Well, what? N never! You're... Everything I want to be. You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, 
The name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. And I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> a kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? <sighs> All right then. Let's go, you little shit. I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I think... Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return to you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed. Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! 
It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Wow. Just wait till you see what I can do. The battle is on. Yeah. Check this right. out. Come on now. Cool. Crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on, at least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> You too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh shit, fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? 
Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit! My wallet's gone! Oh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Hold up. What family you from? All right. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! The Gorsi! Battle is on! Cool. You! You're gonna regret this! What the hell was that about? 
Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning! Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakaki family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this? Would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This... is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10, or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Happy birthday, Aniki. Hey, Mitsu. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. 
What's up with you? Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. The new year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. be my last meal as a free man for a while. <laughs> Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more! Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl! It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan. I could have merely expelled you, but this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. <laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. You gotta savor every last moment. Don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stall. Come back soon. Hey, 
you, buddy. Did you ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Mr. Box. So you're gonna... <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. He used to be Tojo Clan. You think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. <gasps> the Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh, man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the Assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Buster, I'll kill you! <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking... Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. 
And they were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Mm. 
course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, huh. well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business! Just leave me alone! Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what uh, did you do to my hair? I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Shikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay. So... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. 
You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. <laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? Member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through. Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah. They're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Think you're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough, Kasuga. Hey, fellas, we're sorry. Okay? Well, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy. That's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! He recognized me. You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! 
I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes too. He definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey. Look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. 
Arakawa-san defecting to the Yomi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So, you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa, yeah? I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? Kamurocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey! At least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison! Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me! Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya! I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself.
This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Not a family family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Oh, finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. The oh, old... you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks' home by now. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. Give me the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. Oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the only symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait... You and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep-talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. The battle is on! Cool! Yes, day. Check this out! Come on now! Check this out! Come on now! Too easy! Ugh. Did our 
Kawasan really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Huh? Oh! Excuse me. Thanks. <sighs> See ya.
Hm? I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! <laughs> oh yeah, these picks will go for a fortune! <laughs> Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up! Guy, it was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamulop. Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. But uh, what do you mean was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Hmm. Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't? Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... ...watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, 
I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. And some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Some real messed up dudes live in there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well... That shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. <sighs> so, do you believe me now? Yes. Then <laughs> we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Uh, I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself, and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. 
Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Dojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Harkawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him! Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here. Take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? You'll figure it out. Whatever. Okay, so until then, keep a low profile, will you? Well, I'm going to stream on call it a night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.